give me some thoughts on team culture, right? Um, how does somebody set one? Um, you know, let's come back down to small business. Maybe it's a team of two, maybe it's a team of 10. Like, yeah. like how important is team culture? Uh, and what are some things a business owner could do to, to even start to prepare for it? Uh, you know, culture to me is, is absolutely paramount. I mean, you can have a great strategy, you can have a good product. Uh, if you don't have the right people around you that are, that are engaged and focused and, uh, and, and productive, then it's really hard to, to deliver a good result. So culture to me is an absolute commercial multiplier. If you have a great team that's motivated and focused on the right things, um, really engaged in an encouraging atmosphere, you can you can really take over the world. It's it's paramount, underrated, mm. um, and even in the turnaround space, which is you know often dollars and numbers and hard nosed things to do. Uh, I've always endeavoured to create a great culture because it's it's a commercial multiplier. Um, small team, big team, international team, or three people in the garage. Uh, it's the same. It's the same principles. Um, f- firstly, you get the culture you live by. That if you, as a leader, um, demonstrate, uh, well, you do demonstrate how people should operate. You become, you become the template for how they operate. So if you operate with excellence and integrity, um, you're encouraging people. You're um, helping them be the best they can be. You know, your team will do the same thing. If you're, you know, hard nosed, don't talk to them, uh, treat them badly. You know, you're still shouting at people in corridors, uh, of which there's plenty of people around still, by the way. Um, then you you get the same result. You the the um, the way you walk is really important. People are watching, people are seeing, and, and culture is often uh, caught, not taught. Mm. You know, having said that, there's things that you can do to really bring the culture uh, uh, a good culture to bear. Um, and there's a real link, I think, between trust in leadership, uh, engagement rates, and productivity. That if you have, and we we have very low engagement rates in corporate Australia and around the world, um, and therefore um, very low engagement rates. So low trust in leadership, low engagement rates, and therefore you know low productivity. Yeah. And, and the and the catalyst for that change for me is is how leaders operate. And part of that is transparency. You know, if you if you want your team to trust you, you need to be transparent with them. Mm-hmm. Um, and leaders, if they want an engaged environment, need to be authentic as well. Yeah. Um, they don't have to have all the answers, um, and if if you're if you're willing to be uh, vulnerable, and authentic, um, and transparent, people will engage in that. They'll 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 trust you more. They'll if they have an idea, they're much more likely to share it. Yeah. Um, and you know you might be the smartest person in the room, which probably puts you in the wrong room. Um, but you know surrounding yourself with really smart people is a complete waste of time unless. Um, they're engaged and they're allowed to make decisions and allowed for input. And then you can leverage that collective intelligence and that cognitive diversity to, to bring to bear on your organization.